I work on a cruise ship and a question I get asked all the time is what do crew members eat? Well today I'm going to be sharing with you everything I really eat in a week both on and off the ship. Let's go. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I'm currently working here on Liberty of the Seas. Before working here, I had no idea that all the food was free. When you work on a cruise ship, you get complimentary meals at no place other than the crew mess. This is the main place that crew members get to eat on the ship. Action. Hi, my name is Lucas, I'm from Tanzania. Yes, one of the chefs on board. Nice to be here, Liberty of the Seas. We feed almost 1,400 crew members for a day for one meal. That's a lot of people. <laughs> it's not for a lot of people compared to guests. How many guests do you have to feed every day? We have 4,500 guests for meal for a day. What would you say your favorite part of this job is? Enjoying cooking with my colleagues and my team. Yeah, you kind of become like a family here, right? Yes, we have to be family because you're far away from your family. The mess is definitely where I spend the most time, but throughout the course of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I eat during a typical cruise. We're gonna be starting this adventure out in New York City. Good morning from New York City. Today is a day one of our cruise, which means that it's also a turnaround day. Oh, hello. If you've never heard of a turnaround day, let me explain really quick. It's when the guests leave and then the new ones come on board and usually we often end up going to Starbucks, but today it's gonna be a little bit different. This is Graydon. Hi. We're going to his family's baby shower. <laughs> Woo! So it's gonna be a fun time. Let's go. Guys, the food here is so cute. I honestly don't wanna mess up the display because it is so adorable. Not gonna lie, this is not like a normal thing that I usually do, but this is honestly just so sweet. This is like a champagne vinaigrette salad, and then there's also a Krispy Kreme donut, as well as a chicken curry croissant sandwich. And now we're gonna give it a try and see how it is. So a little fun fact is that when I lived in Japan, there used to be a Krispy Kreme nearby, and I got Krispy Kremes at least once a week. So this feels very nostalgic for me. And there's lettuce at the bottom. Okay guys, we are back in the cabin. We're back on the ship. And it's gonna be quite some time before I have dinner tonight. So in the meantime, we are gonna be doing parade. I have lots of admin work to do. And then after that, I have some meetings as well as ice shows. So I do the, some duties for the ice shows. And then somewhere around there, I will have dinner. And we'll go to the gym at some point as well. Okay guys, it's still not quite dinner time, but I am gonna have some mochi. It's a white peach mochi, shout out to Henry. I'm obsessed. If you've never had mochi before, it is basically made from like rice flour. And there's usually some stuff on the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now I'm gonna be going to ice shows and then I'll be going to dinner right after that. So let's go. Ready for dinner? Yeah. Woo! We are headed to the Windjammer. Woo! Windjammer? <laughs> a question that I get a lot is, are we allowed to eat at the guest buffet here? And we are allowed to, but there's like certain times. After 8 p.m. is like prime time for us because we need to be here when there aren't a lot of guests around. And then sometimes there's just more variety here at the Windjammer. So this is what we have going on for dinner. There is some fish, a salad, and roasted tomatoes and a crab cake. So that's it for me. Graydon has a completely different plate than I do. So I'm gonna show you what he's got. Well, let me finish my bite. Okay, one second. You'll see that I've got the crab cakes here followed with a cheese bun and fried chicken. Southern style. And on my left, your right, the ribs, a steak, the baked tomatoes, and a bit of a salad to tease me into thinking I'm healthy. Okay, so dinner is done. That is my last meal for day one. I usually close my eating window right after I finish dinner, and then the next time I eat is lunch tomorrow. 
Good morning and welcome to day two of what I eat in a week working on a cruise ship. It is a busy day. I do have two shows, so let's go. Every day, but especially on show days, I start my day with AG1. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. If you've never heard of AG1, it is a daily foundational nutritional supplement that supports whole body health. And since my body is my instrument, fueling myself properly is of utmost importance to me. As a professional athlete, I'm very in tune with how I'm feeling, and AG1 definitely helps sustain my energy levels throughout the day, as well as just give me general peace of mind. Before working on ships, I had no idea how much more likely I was to get sick. And in an environment where I have no control over the food quality, I just feel so much better knowing that I'm increasing my intake of daily nutrients. For me, like I'm huge into health and especially on days like today where I'm highly active and I need to perform my best. I think it's really important that I am actually like consuming the best thing for my body. Believe it or not, it has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole foods sourced ingredients and it has truly transformed my health overall. From supporting muscle recovery and metabolism to strengthening things like my hair, nails, and skin, I feel so much better after drinking AG1. I happily recommend it to all of my friends and family and if you'd like to try it for yourself, head on over to the link in my description, you can get a free one year supply of the AG Vitamin D3 plus K2, as well as the AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you AG1 for sponsoring this video. So for lunch today, there were a couple things that I had, one of them being a Caesar salad. So they have some specialty little lunches every now and again. And today there was a little Caesar salad station. There usually are some salad ingredients that are available, but sometimes it's just nice to have a little station that's dedicated to it. Thank you, love. Yeah, maybe a little more. Why not? Thank you. And then in addition to that, I also had a ratatouille with rice. Personally, I'm a really big fan of the ratatouille. It's one of those that whenever I see, I know that I'm always going to like it. The recipe is really tasty. And then after that, I usually always have an apple or some kind of fruit. I have found that on my other ship, some of the fruit was just very questionable and the fruit here I am loving. Personally, I'm a big fan of peanut butter and I love apples with my peanut butter. So I usually cut them up into little bits and then have it from there just to get some sugar, some fats all that good stuff and that's definitely like a daily staple. And then if I don't have peanut butter for some reason, I'll have like the pineapple or the melon. I'm not picky when it comes to fruit. I will eat whatever within reason. <laughs> He's got the same. I have my call time for my show in just 15 minutes. So I will catch you guys after the show when I have dinner. It is currently six. I finished my show. It was great. And now it's time for dinner before the second show happens. So my second show is at eight o'clock. Before we go, there is one thing I wanted to show you guys. This is not just a regular Lululemon bag. I usually bring this to the mess with me to spice things up a bit. Some nutritional yeast, cinnamon, and 24 herbs and spices. So many condiments. We're ready. We're ready. We're getting dinner. Graydon is here. He is my Meal buddy. <laughs> Just buddies though, guys. Just buddies. What do you have over there, Graydon? I have beef and mushroom stew on some mashed potatoes, a onion quiche, fajita, chicken, and broccoli. Right. Pasta and bolognese. Love it. So I have a salad and some chicken. I also have a little lemon wedge to squeeze all over everything. The salad has lettuce, lots of veggies like onions, tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers, and then I just put rice with beans on top with Italian dressing. Here's the chicken. <laughs> so when I'm home, I actually don't really eat chicken, but the options are not as plentiful on the ship. So here, I do have it probably every day now. Yeah, it's pretty good. I have a bit more variety this time. I got a green apple instead of a red apple. <laughs> mm. You like it? <laughs> we have the same almond butter. This is the cinnamon almond butter from Justin. Bam! Yum! Yes. Oh, that's not so good. What is it? I don't know. I can't read, so I didn't. It's a mystery cake. I'm having cake. She's having an apple. <laughs> and then we're going to show you who has better abs at the end of this week. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it is already 1 p.m. and I haven't had anything to eat yet, but it has been such a productive morning. I've already gone to the gym and gotten a lot of work done, but now it is time to break the fast. On a typical five-day Bermuda cruise, this is usually the day that we have a bit more free time and we can just explore the island and have some downtime after a show day. However, since the itinerary change, it is a chill day for us, but we are on the ship because it's a sea day. So in terms of the cruise ship work, I don't really have too much going on, but in terms of personal work, there's a lot of things that I'm gonna have going on. So it'll be a productive one and let's go. Well, here's a little update. So I got a little sidetracked with the stuff I was working on and I've now missed the mess hours. So that means that they don't open again until dinner time. So Graydon and I are gonna go to Johnny Rockets, but first I have to get ready. Let's go. I used to go to Johnny Rockets all the time when I was a kid with my family, so it has like a nostalgic feel for sure. So whenever we miss the meal time, there's really not a lot of options left over. So Johnny Rockets is just like the perfect treat. I think it's pretty good. Johnny Rockets in general is not the... Johnny Rockets in general isn't the most high class meal that you'll ever have, but personally, I really like it. The Route 66 with the grilled chicken is my favorite. Next, we have a crispy chicken salad. Not gonna lie, wouldn't say it's the most nutritious salad I've ever had, but this is what we got. It's all about balance. Hopefully we'll make it up in the vegetable bowl department for dinner. And last but not least, we also got some Oreo milkshakes. Harvey is so sweet. He made a little heart at the top. The last time I was at Johnny Rockets was about a month ago. So whenever I do have it, it's definitely like a treat, something exciting. What's your favorite part of the meal? Oh, well, I really like the Route 66 and the friendship I have with Allie. Aww. Aww. That was so nice. <laughs> Just buddies though, guys. Just, Just buddies. buddies. This is the actual last thing that I'm going to be eating. We got some apple pie here. So basically at Johnny Rockets, there's a set menu. You pay around $15 and then it comes with a side, a main, and a dessert. This is the dessert, but I got the milkshake as well. So it's a bit confusing. Mm. Oh my God. Whoa, why have I never had this before? Really quick, I do want to mention the importance of balance. When I was younger, I was a lot more restrictive with my food, but as I've gone through more experiences, I've come to find that it is okay to have foods that are not as healthy and not as pure. Generally, I am a healthy eater, but I don't restrict myself if like an opportunity comes about or there's a special occasion so good. or I miss lunch and I can't get food for another couple hours. We are off to dinner once again. Always eating. <laughs> I had that Johnny Rockets and straight out carb nap. This is how we refuel. We're going for the vegetables. So these are the vegetables in question. And these are actually my favorites. UK night is my absolute favorite on the ship. And it's mainly because they have these like grilled root veggies and the mushy peas and everything. Usually I like getting fish and chips as well, but I am honestly just still so full. So I just need some vegetables in my life for now. Graydon's appetite, on the other hand, is a little bit different. I have steak covered in peanut butter sauce, which is pretty good, a fajita. I have the root vegetables that Allie has as well. I also got the veggies, the broccoli, and yes. juice. Now, the likelihood that he'll be able to finish all of that. That's one of the wonderful things about a buffet. Just eat what you need and throw the rest out. The fish get it. It's true. <laughs> Crazy. What? <laughs> Technically now the buffet is closed. So anytime after this, the only option is pizza. So I'm just. You can go in it. It's okay. You're a star. <laughs> I am so thankful for the FMB team. They are such hard workers. They have really long hours. It is honestly a miracle what they are able to accomplish here on the ship. And just honestly thankful to have a job that feeds me, houses me, and it's all in one place. Oh, and I got fruit. And all of the fruits kind of looked pretty good today. So we gave them all a go, the cantaloupe, pineapple, and watermelon. Graydon ended up doing a pretty good job. I really love broccoli, but the broccoli tonight had a weird taste to it, so not risking it for that biscuit. Overall, I would say a pretty successful evening at the Windy J, if I do say so myself. The fish are gonna be happy tonight. Yes, they will be. Hi 
Hello from Bermuda. This is our last time here. We don't really have too much time, so we're gonna just explore the area for old nostalgia's sake. First stop is going to be... The pastry shop? Yeah, we're like the pastry shop. <laughs> the pastry shop. Graydon and I have been here so many times and every single time I always get this chocolate cappuccino muffin and it is so good. I cannot help myself anytime I'm here. Ah, this muffin is honestly just my favorite thing. It is so moist, so delicious. Love a moist muffin. Graydon, what do you have there? I have a fruit tart. These are one of the best fruit tarts I've ever had. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Sorry, it is really tasty though. Okay, I wanted to eat it with a fork anyway. Okay. Are you enjoying the boats? I love boats. I love boats. Big fan of boats. <laughs> so we're currently walking by the Clock Tower Mall here. It's called the Clock Tower Mall because it's got a clock on top of it. Oh! Oh my gosh! There are a couple little things in here, some restaurants, some souvenir shops. It's the closest thing to a mall around here. This whole area is just pretty quaint. The ship is literally right there in the distance and we're just gonna go have a little picnic now. Something that we like to do all the time is have fish sandwiches. So let's get eaten. Fish sandwich o'clock. This has been a really nice tradition to have with Allie, grabbing fish sandwiches every time we're here in Bermuda and I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it too. This was the first fish sandwich that we've ever had and it will also be our last. Cheers. <laughs> Today we are here in mid-October, so it's actually pretty nice outside in terms of the weather, but the water is definitely getting cold. Whew. I also got to wear my new bathing suit. It was gifted to me by Laundre, bodywear by Laundre. I'm a big fan, so if you're looking for a, a swimsuit, give it a go. <laughs> but regardless, it is our last day here in Bermuda, so we are just making the most of it while we are here. It has been just such a joy to find all of these hidden gems around the islands, and just so happy to be here. All right, so we've just made it back on the ship from our day in Bermuda. The fish sandwich and the muffin didn't quite do it nutritionally, so I am gonna have some AG1. Ideally, with AG1, you're supposed to have it on an empty stomach, but I do think that like all the nutrients can be absorbed afterwards anyway. So we have ice shows tonight, and now it is time for the Windjammer. And here's my meal. It is Caribbean night, so I got some Caribbean fish, some fried eggplant, which is not Caribbean, but it is delicious, and a salad that's loaded with various veggies of sorts. And Graydon. I got a Caribbean burger, which means it has fried pineapple on it. I got a Caribbean steak, which means that it said Caribbean steak above it. And then I got some sweet potatoes and deep fried dumplings. I gotta try this a bite. Yeah. Good morning. It is now our fifth and final day of what I eat in a week while working on a cruise ship. This morning has already been pretty crazy for me. I did Up Close and Personal, which is a Q&A with the guests, and then we had a tech run for our shows today. Since it is kind of just a busier, hectic day, of course we are going to be heading to the mess. But first, you know the drill. I do just want to be like completely transparent. I do not accept sponsorships from companies that I do not align with their values. And this is right up my alley. I really am like a health freak typically. And especially when I'm at home and not on ships, like all veggies and fruits every single day and making sure I get the right amount of vitamins and minerals is super important to me. So she's seeping in. Here we have the first sip. At 12.30, post tech rehearsal and everything, breaking the fast. Now let's go to the crew mess. Woo. In regard to my food intake, especially in the mess, there actually is a bit more variety and maybe showing some of Graydon's meals has helped to show that there is a lot of other things, but I personally usually go for a salad, a protein, and some fruit. That's just like 
my go-to meals and the things that make me feel the best. I don't usually stray too far away unless it's like a treat or something, a special occasion, something like that. I just really find the difference in how I feel when I eat more veggies and fruits and stuff. So I do not count calories. I am just doing my best to be a mindful eater. So from here, it is going to be a busy afternoon. As I mentioned, we do have a show tonight. So right now I'm about to get a lot of stuff down. We have four hours before our call time. Also, I am taking this for the road, plant up protein, my favorite protein powder. So I'm just gonna arrange this, put some collagen in it. Personally, I think this is the only plant-based protein powder that actually tastes good. That's just my personal preference. I like putting it in oatmeal or protein pancakes. Oh, so good. Anyway, bringing this with me on my adventures and let's get cracking. We have officially made it into my last meal of this full week of eating working on the cruise ship and we are going to be heading on over to the mess. I have just finished my first show of the night so I just need to replenish my body for show number two and I actually don't have a lot of time so I'm just going to be running over really quick and zip it on by. First things first is a strawberry mochi. Mm. A guy just asked me if this was my dinner. <laughs> So we looked at a very particular five day cruise, but every cruise is honestly so different. Every single week is different and every single crew member is different as well. Based on your job, there are some places you can and can't dine or you need certain permission to dine. Every cruise ship company is different. They're all different lengths. Sometimes there's guests visiting me. Sometimes I have family on. It depends on my mood, how I'm feeling. Everything is just a varying factor. So on this particular cruise, I had 20% of my meals off the ship completely completely, 40% of my meals in the crew mess, I had 30% of my meals in the windjammer, and then one meal at a specialty restaurant, AKA Johnny Rockets. There are some times where I decide I want to have every single meal in the crew mess just because I don't feel like going in guest area because I do have to kind of make myself look not like this. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff. It has been so fun to share with you guys kind of the ins and outs of what my life is really like and then also what I eat here. I don't know. <laughs>